Hi everybody, this is Suthi Readings and hi Aries. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys. Oh, my ears are ringing. What's up? Like even in your last reading, I feel like there was something here energetically. It was very strong. So in case this reading resonates with you, Aries, there will be a link in the description box to the extended for your past person, new person's energy, as well as your blessings and challenges for the future. And you can also have a look at your yearly predictions linked in the description box below. All right, so let's see, Aries. What do we have for you? What do we have for Aries, please? First house, it's all about self, of course, you know? For you, your season, well, and this card is very beautiful. It's like there's a doorway opening and there's like, there's a mat here that says welcome. New doors are going to be opening up for you, Aries. New opportunities are going to be coming up. It's like you're walking into this energy of a new chapter in your life. And it's all about how you perceive yourself, how you're walking through that door. Okay. But I feel like you're walking through it with a lot of self-awareness and going through an awakening. So I really feel like Aries, some of you have gone through the dark night of the soul. And, you know, um, you're putting yourself back together. Okay, you're putting yourself back together. The lover Leo card is here. So some of you are attracting someone towards you as well. But this all, this card also talks about being expressive, being playful, loyal. I am telling you what's up with the energy here. Leo, 7th house and 1st house. So, And then you have the card of transformation. Some of you could be going to the gym. You could be working on yourself. There's like some something here in your life. Aries that you're trying to improve, okay? Because the Pluto card talks about transformation and renewal, okay? Feeling motivated to do something. Personal part, evolution, composting, cycles, death, rebirth, intensity. Uh, some of you could also be into crystals. I really feel like with the first house and the seventh house card there, it's like there's something that you're changing and then that's also changing things in other areas of your life. Specifically when it comes to love, you're definitely attracting someone here. And I feel like this person is going to be very different from the rest of the people you've dated or it's like with the Pluto card being there, there's instant attraction with this person. But sometimes that can also be like, um, you know, sometimes things start really fast and end as well it can be that but to me it's it's looking like you're going through that energy of renewal endings and new beginnings in your life and the main focus here is yourself and then the other area of your life is relationships partnerships best friends marriage and social awareness so and with the Pluto card, the Pluto says it all. It's it's transformation, endings and new beginnings, renewal. Okay. Let's see. Show me messages for Aries. Empress, recognizing your worth, your value. There's also someone you may have recently dealt with who was really complimenting you, really wanting to be with you. Or some of you here, you know, you could be realizing your own worth. You could be realizing your own value. Okay. Queen of Swords. There's a lot of feminine energy here. And yes, there is someone who's into you with the Page of Swords. Oh my goodness. It's almost like Aries. There's someone who's into you, but you're not like, I don't know how to say this. You're someone who has boundaries and you're, you're like putting this person at, you know, one hand's distance. You're like, no. Or it's, 
I don't know. You're not giving them full access to you. And with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands, there's someone who's really intrigued by that. They see you as someone very successful. They see you as someone like with the Empress. They feel like you have it all together. Um, and they're coming in with a very curious energy with a lot of passion and like lusty energy too but they're very like this is someone who's really into in like they're really into you okay i feel like this person also tries to spy on your social media and stuff trying to find out about you they feel like you're mysterious aries this person feels like you're mysterious Eight of Swords. Some of you could be friend zoning a person who wants more with you. <laughs> okay, you could be. You could be. Oh my goodness, some of the cards here are flipped. Show me more. Yeah, Aries, I feel like you're very practical right now. You're focusing on the present moment. You're you're getting things done. You're you're communicating with this person but with boundaries and it does look like there could be someone you're friend zoning because you feel like they're a little immature. You do like to you know, you like to talk to them, but you want to see what they're about before you like you know, express yourself. What's the 10 of cups? Hangman reverse and the queen of wands uh okay Aries there's someone who's really finding you very attractive okay this person also feels like you're very mysterious they feel like you're someone who has it together they feel like you look good smile go all that but they feel like you have that vibe to you that they want to get to know you and it does look like for some of you like it has You've had a mindset shift here. No doubt that your reading started off with the first house energy because it's all about you right now, Aries. It's really all about you. You're, you're the center of attention here. This is about your glow up, your stuff. And it's almost like other things are revolving around your energy. So right now, however your energy is, is what you're going to attract more of. Some of you have uh, grown up um, with a single parent or it's like I'm getting a dysfunctional family here, but I feel like you've learned to recognize certain things and patterns, but you're not closed off to love, okay? It's like for someone here, you're of really high value. What's your challenge, Aries? Six of Wands. Oops, two cards for your advice. The Sun card and the World card. Yes. So your challenge here is that you're not feeling satisfied with something or you feel like there's something that's a failure with the Six of Wands card. Um... Okay, some of you are also, I think you're a little afraid to give something a lot of your attention because you're afraid that this is not going to last long or you have doubts about someone. Because the way the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords are showing up together, first of all, the energies are very different. The dynamic here is really different. So you don't, like, you don't know what the other person could be about. So you're just trying to like test the waters before you say anything or do anything here. Um, Thank you. 
and then with the sun and the world card being here you're being told here to to do things that make you happy the sun card is it's a sign of optimism looking for the positive good news blessings that you're surrounded by with the world card here you know the world card also represents success completion new things coming into your life um i feel like whatever changes are coming in your life aries they're they're positive changes so it's like you're being told here to focus on the positive oops let's see Your person's feelings for you, their view of you, actions you plan on taking, where is it going, and your advice. And the new person's energy. Let's see what's that about. I'm going to have a look at that along with your blessings and challenges in your extended. So do have a look. It will be linked below for you. Now let's move on to your career messages. all right let's see some of you could be on social media you've recently been feeling like there's stuff that's at a halt in your life things are not moving forward but step into the spotlight and get seen don't allow your talent to go unnoticed it might be a time to get more publicity a career in television radio magazine or social media might be perfect for you some of you could be on social media or something or it's like this is this can also talk about marketing getting attention for your work and so is the celebration card i feel like you're going to be celebrating something take some time off and celebrate your success you deserve it there may be an unforeseen increase in your income you've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more so positive changes are showing up here in your finances now let's see what are your love messages don't worry it will be okay i don't see that card very often so let's see then we have give things time to unfold love so love is definitely coming your way aries but you're being told here to give things some time to unfold there's i don't see anything negative here okay Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, compassion, and attraction. So that's about it, Aries. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a look at the extended link below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.